Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a what's in my carry-on video. I'm just, John and I are actually going on a little honeymoon to Vegas in a couple of days. Actually, when you're seeing this, I will probably be in Vegas. Um, and I just figured I would show you guys what I pack in my carry-on. Um, this will differ depend on, depending on how long your flight's gonna be, obviously, from Kansas to Vegas. It's only like a two hour flight, so it's not, I don't have that much. Um, but I will show you what, I'll tell you what I would have if I was going on a longer flight. Um, I love watching these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy, and if you want to see what's in my carry-on, just keep watching. Okay, so first is my, um, the bag that I got. It's rather large. Um, I got it from Target. It's on sale. It was only... I think it was only $16. I think it was originally it was $32. Um, but I've seen these there for the last couple of years. Because I like them. And I finally got it. Because I don't really have any big bags that are good for flights. Like I have a backpack. But I didn't. I wasn't going to take my computer. Because I'm only there for a few days. So I didn't want to take my backpack. John's taking his. So if I need anything like technological. I'll go to him. Um, but yeah. It's just black. And then on the inside. It's brown. It has a um, little pocket right here. Other than that, it's the rest of it's open. So if you want compartments, you don't want this bag. Um, but it has just a little snap, which is kind. I if I was going like to Europe, I wouldn't take this because I would want something that zips. Um, and I'm this is I'm not going to take this as my purse for the trip. I am going to pack my Michael Kors purse in my suitcase. Because John and I are taking a huge one. We're just sharing it. So I'm taking that because it is literally like tiny. Like it's not very big. So this is strictly just for my carry-on stuff. So I, like I said, if I was scared that something would be taken out of here, I would not take this. Because I want something that would zip. Um, but anyways, yeah. It just has a, cl a little clasp. So the first, I'm just going to take stuff out here as I see. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Um, but the first thing I see is my headphones. I... Love these. These are actually a gift from my dad for my first day a couple of years ago. My freshman year, I believe. And they're just bows. I tried Beats ones. I don't, they're not, they're not squishy at all. And I don't like that because I want to be able to like lay on it and it'd be comfy. Um, but they just look like this. Um, they're like a turquoise color. Um, and it comes with this. I don't know why this isn't attached. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but you just clip it in here and um, just put them on like that. They're super cute, um, but they're super squishy. And then it just comes a little bag. And going off of that, um, since I do have the seven, I have a I don't have a headphone jack, so I'm going to be taking my adapter. It's in my car right now, so I can't show you. Um, but I'll be taking that in my bag so I can use these. Um, next I see is my glasses. Um, I'll probably be wearing these honestly to the airport. So I'll probably have my sunglasses in here, but I can't show you those either because they're in my car. Um, but they, my glasses just look like this. They are super cute. They're from Warby Parker, if you were curious. And they're the style Laurel. If that tells you anything. I, they're the tortoise color, obviously. Um, and it just comes with that. Like I said, I'll probably be wearing these to the airport, so I'll have my sunglasses in here. Next, I see is a book. Right now I'm reading The Zookeeper's Wife. It's really good. I didn't get finished reading it before the movie came out, so I have to wait until the movie comes out on DVD to watch it. Because I refuse to watch movies before I read the book. Refuse. Um, going off that, I have a coloring book. Yes, I know. I'm five. Um, it's actually one that John got me from Amazon. It's just a sloth coloring book. And I haven't been, I haven't had any time to color on any of these. So I'm going to try and knock out a couple of these. And then I have colored, um, markers. They're like fine tip or whatever. I don't like colored pencils and I hate grounds. So I go off of markers. Um, and then I have 
I have um, my makeup bag. I will have a probably a bigger one for this just because I know John and I are going to a couple of events and I will want just more than just like minimal makeup. Um, but I'm going to take like what I really don't want to be lost in this. So if you have an expensive, I don't even know, bronzer, like if you have a Chanel bronzer, I would take that in here because if you lose that, you're going to be devastated. <laughs> or if it like shatters on in your suitcase and you're going to be really upset. So take anything that you don't want to lose any perfume any any jewelry especially i the only thing i really like care about is my ring and my mrs necklace and i'm going to be wearing both of those so i'm not going to take anything in my um carry on next is my charger for my phone i don't know i mean you might need it in the airport if you're going to be in the airport for a really long time or if you have a layovers or something but i'm not but i just take it in here because I don't want to lose my, I don't want, if I lose my suitcase, I want to have my charger so I can have to charge my phone and talk to people. Um, next I have my wallet. It's just a coral colored wallet. It's super small because my, like I said, my daily purse is very tiny. Um, and it's just from Target. It's, I think it's the Morona brand. Yeah, I think so. Um, I have socks because... I'll be wearing socks there because I don't like having to take my shoes off at secu security and be barefoot. It's disgusting. But I want warmer socks and tall socks because airplanes are always freezing. And yes, my socks have slots on them. How adorable. This is for my sister-in-law. She brought them to me in London and I'm obsessed. And then last is, that's actually in here, is just a granola bar. I'll probably get different ones because these aren't my favorite. First off snacks after airport security are outrageous expensive i think we all know this like a bottle of water is four dollars like who no and i'll probably be taking a bottle of water but i don't have one because i think everything has to be sealed i'll have to check that on like the airport like tsa or whatever but i'm pretty sure it, like if you take a water bottle it has to, it can't have been opened actually i don't even know if you can take one snacks i know have to be like in a sack like in a bag um but I hate worrying if something's gluten free because who wants to get sick on the plane? Nobody. So I usually take my own snacks. And if, it, if, it's, if something is marketed as gluten free, it's already pretty expensive, let alone after airport security. So I try and take like a, a bar or like a small bag of chips or just something that I know that it's going to be safe that I don't have to pay out the butt for because no. Um, let me check my phone because I have a, I always do like a list of what I need to take before I leave because I don't want to be running around with a chicken like my head cut off. Like a chicken with my head cut off. That's what I meant. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, obviously make sure you, make sure you have your ID if you're going out of the country. Take your passport. You do not want to forget your passport. That would be awful. Um, if it was a longer flight, I would either take my laptop. Okay, if it was a flight that's pretty long, but isn't like international, then they're not gonna have movies. I would take my laptop or my iPad. Usually, usually my iPad, just because it's smaller and it doesn't have as much stuff on it. I mean, obviously I'd be really upset if my iPad got stolen or got lost because they're pretty pricey. Um, but I, usually buy a couple of movies on my ipad or i think netflix like has like a you can download things now i think it's only certain things but that would be if you don't want to like pay off for itunes that would be a thing to do is to like download the netflix like episode or show or whatever you wanted to watch before you leave um and then maybe a couple magazines i don't really like magazines i just like books so i'll take a book headphones um I like reading books. Some people hate taking books because they're heavy. Um, I don't like Audible. <laughs> At least I haven't really tried it. I've listened to one book and I, I didn't like the voice and it really bothered me. And I like actually reading the books. And so if you don't want to take an actual like heavy book, you could always just download iBooks, like a book from iBooks on your phone or on your iPad. I've done that on my iPad when I went to London because obviously I didn't want to take multiple books to London for me 
with me for eight weeks because that's really heavy and just ridiculous. So I downloaded a few on iTunes and just read them on my iPad while I was over in London for the summer. So that would be a really good tip. And again, if you, if you haven't, if you're taking anything that you do, like you would be devastated to lose, take it in your carry on. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like if you have a super nice shirt, like, I don't know, a Gucci shirt or something, take that in your carry on. Because if your bag gets lost or if something spills in your suitcase and it ruins it, you're going to be really upset. So I've always gone by that to take something to take everything that I wouldn't want to lose. I mean, obviously you don't want to lose anything, but like something that you would be very ticked about. Um, oh, one more thing I'm going to take. You're going to make fun of me, but I'm taking my pillow. <laughs> I, I've i had this pillow since I was a little girl and I'm obsessed with it. So, and I would be upset. Like I would be distraught if I lost my pillow. Like whenever I do have a baby, so I like some people have said like take your own pillow or blanket to the hospital. I will for sure be taking my pillow. Obviously, I'll wash the pillow, like the thing, like the pillow and the cases when I get home because hospitals are gross. But I, I couldn't, no, and I, and I couldn't go to Vegas for five days without taking my pillow. I would be a wreck. So that's going. If they won't like take it like without and I can just hold it, then I'm gonna smush it into my bag because this bag's pretty big so I can hold it. Um, but other than that, I think that's it for what's in my carry on video. If you guys think of anything that you think I should take in there or what something that you guys think is necessary, definitely leave it in the comments. I love to see and I'm sure other people would love to read what they some tips on what they should take in their carry on. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will be back later in the week with another video. Bye.